Hello everyone, this is Dr. E and for today ay pag-uusapan naman natin ang compass at ilan sa mga tools na ginagamit natin sa construction sa pagbuo ng parallel and perpendicular lines. Construction ang isa sa mga skills na isa ring dapat natin matutunan sa geometry. And for today, magkoconstruct tayo ng mga parallel and perpendicular lines gamit ang compass natin at syempre ang ating straight edge at ang papel at ang ating lapis. So for today, ang uunahin natin construction would be yung mga parallel lines natin. At alam natin ang parallel lines are lines with the same slope. At ito ang gagawin natin according to this instruction na meron tayo ngayon. So in this instruction, we are given line L and point N not on L. And we need to construct line M through N with M parallel to L. So it's too much to ask, pero in a nutshell, what we're going to do today is to clear our space and use our compass at ang papel para makapag-construct tayo ng ating parallel line here at sabi dito, without using any of our devices or tools, gagawa daw tayo ng lines na kung saan ito yung ating goal. So, yung goal natin is to draw line L. Ito si line L. At yung point N natin, not on L, so ito si N, ay kailangan daw ay parallel kay L. So, gagawa tayo ng line M na parallel kay M. And to be able to do that with precision, gagamit tayo syempre ng ating mga drawing tools. So, umpisahan natin. So, Una natin construction would be to draw line L. So, madali lang gawin ang line L dahil kailangan lang natin ng straight edge at ito na si line L. So, let's name it as line L. At sabi, meron daw point dito na si N. At kailangan makabuo tayo ng parallel line dito nang hindi ginagamit yung mga sukat ng ating mga ruler. So, we're just using our ruler as a straight edge para diretso yung ating mga guhit. So, ang una natin gagawin to be able to do that is to draw an angle that is passing through N. So, it doesn't matter how wide or narrow your angle is. Kailangan lang natin ang angle. So, ito yung gagawin natin. So, ito yung ating angle na yan. And... Lagyan natin ito at inaim natin itong point of intersection ni L at ni uh, itong line na ito as point, let's say point C. And in this case, to be able to draw a line that is parallel to L, gagamitin natin ang ating compass. And to be able to use this angle, napakahalaga, just open your compass a little bit. Huwag naman masyadong malaki. So, ito yung ating compass and put your needle doon sa ating point of intersection C at makakabuo tayo ng angle na ito. At itong angle na ito ang magiging reference angle natin to be able to form a parallel line. And how are we going to do that? So, without touching our compass, so same measurement pa rin yan. Let's put our needle on point N and create an angle similar to what we just did a while ago. So, ito yung angle natin on top, which is same as angle on this uh, part of our parallel line. At ang gagawin natin ngayon is susukat tayo ng opening na kasukat ng ating angle. And fortunately, magkasukat na ng konti kahit pa paano yung ating needle at saka yung ating pen using our compass. So, ito yung magiging opening at yung size na gagamitin natin to create a point of intersection dun sa ating second angle. Dahil Sabi nga sa postulate natin sa geometry, we need two points to construct a line. And that's what we need to be able to construct a line right here that is parallel to L. And to do that, we're going to use itong point of intersection ng curve na ito on top. Put your needle on top of it. And just draw a curve that will intersect yung ating curve dito on top. And with this, we're able to produce a point that when connected to letter N will give, give us a parallel line. So, from here, makakabuo na tayo ng parallel line kung ang lapis natin ay hindi napuputol. At ito na ngayon, si line M. 
na parallel kay line L. And we're able to do that using a compass. At yan yung instruction or yan yung nagawa natin mula dito sa ating construction. So now we can say that line M is parallel to line L because we're able to use our tool to produce a parallel line nang hindi gumagamit ng sukat ng ating ruler. At yan yung unang construction natin ng parallel line. So, ginawa natin. Step 1, we label two points H and J on L. So, ito yung ating first instruction. So, although iba yung aking mga letters, we're still able to produce this instruction. So, yan yung ating step 1. And then, second step is to produce an angle that will help us produce the line parallel to line L. And this is what we did using our compass. So, gumamit tayo ng uh, angle na kailangan congruent dun sa angle na na-form natin kay line H. And step number three, we're able to draw the lines using our straight edge, kaya natin na-produce yung mga parallel lines na yan. So, yan yung paggamit natin ng... Uh, compass to produce our parallel line. And next instruction, what we need to do is to produce a quadrilateral similar to this one where side A and side B, which is on the top base and the bottom base of our trapezoid or quadrilateral, kailangan daw produce natin yung trapezoid na yan using our parallel lines. And to be able to do that, gamitin natin yung ating Nagawang parallel lines. So, meron tayong parallel lines. At meron na rin tayo somehow the um, side ng ating trapezoid. We just need to produce a line segment that should equal to um, side A and side B. So, what we're going to do is to just draw side A na mas maliit kaysa kay side B. So, let's say ito yung ating side A. At ito naman si side B na mas mahaba. Dito pala. Yan, para hindi tayo malito. So, itong side A natin, ito yung kanyang end point. At ito yung ating end point doon sa side B. And to be able to use this measurement and this measurement to produce our trapezoid, gagamitin natin yung compass to be able to do that. And to do that, kukunin lang natin yung end point ni A. So, using our compass. Iikot nyo lang yung compass nyo at dapat nakasukat siya dun sa side A. At ito si ating side A. At since magkaparehas na nasukat niyan, so what we're going to do is to put this right here sa ating point N and to draw a curve on top of our trapezoid. And since we now have a point of intersection, this is going to be the same length as this side right here by using our compass. And dun sa bottom base natin, we'll use the compass and hopefully, kayang ibuka ng ating compass ang sukat na ito. Tingnan natin kung kaya niya. At mukhang kaya naman. So, kasukat na yung side B na ginuhit natin kanina dito. So, dadalhin natin itong sukat na ito dito sa ating trapezoid. So, point your needle on point C. Draw a curve. And now, we're able to produce a trapezoid na kung saan itong sukat na ito, which is our top base, ay napunta dito sa top base ng ating parallel line. At si B naman ay nandito. So, we can say that we're able to produce a trapezoid. So, i-coconnect natin itong linya na to. In such a way na yung measurement ni A at measurement ni B ay parallel, I mean, congruent dito sa ginawa nating measurement mula dito sa top base. At yan yung trapezoid na pinapoproduce sa atin using this instruction. So, let's say hindi siya N, C, and another point. So, let's just rename our points as point A here, point B here, point Z, and point Y. And now we're able to produce line segment AZ na equal kay A. At line segment BY na congruent kay side B. So gamit siyempre yung ating compass, we're able to produce the width or the length of our sides given this information that we have. So the first step that we did was we created two parallel lines and what we did was we just used yung ating previous parallel lines para 
hindi masayang yung oras natin sa pagawa ng another parallel lines kasi parehas lang naman siya. So that's what we did. We created an angle and then used our compass and produce an angle congruent to point A and point B. And using those angles, nakaproduce tayo ng parallel line. At nung nakuha na natin parallel line, gumuhit tayo ng line segment A and line segment B. At kinuha natin yung sukat na yun to be able to produce a trapezoid na equal doon sa ginuhit natin line segments kanina, which is line segment A and line segment B. So, ganito natin nag-produce yung ating special quadrilateral, also known as a trapezoid, using that instruction. And of course, with the help of our compass. And now, since we're able to produce parallel lines, which of course an important uh, pair of lines in geometry, now we're going to be constructing perpendicular lines. So ano nga ba ang perpendicular line? Alam natin ang perpendicular line. Basic definition is we are able to produce 90 degree angle when we intersect two lines. And to be able to do that, what we're going to do is to produce line segment CP or line CP na parallel kay L. At yung ating point P should be on line L. So how are we going to produce that line? So syempre, gagamit ulit tayo ng ating construction. So gawa tayo ng line L, which is the easiest line to create. Dahil isang linya lang yan. So meron lang tayong line L. At dito daw si point P ay nasa line L. So kuha lang tayo ng point dito, which is point P. And we need to produce line segment CP na perpendicular kay L. And to be able to draw a perpendicular line using our compass, so palitin muna natin ng konti yung ating buka ng ating compass dahil masyado siyang malaki mula dun sa ating uh, slide a while ago. So I guess ito kaya na natin itong gamitin. So from here, gawa lang tayo ng yung needle, ilagay natin dun sa point P. So, yung needle natin na kay point P, and let's draw a curve on both ends na kaya ng ating compass. So, ito yung ating point P, and what we're going to do then is use yung ating needle dun sa ating nabuong mga points. So, let's say ito ay point A and point B. So, we'll use point A. Gagamitin natin yan. At kailangan lang natin... I-adjust ng konti yung ating compass. Let's make it a little bit wider. Just a tiny bit. And point our needle dun sa ating point A. And produce a curve right here. So ito yung ating curve. And without adjusting our compass, dahil na-adjust na natin sa kanina, let's put our needle on point B. And draw a point of intersection right here. And this point of intersection is really important because ito yung, let's say, intersection or point C that will help us produce a line. So, i-coconnect na natin itong two points dahil sa ating asa postulate. Two points make a line. At ito yung ating line. At now, nakaproduce tayo ng line CP na perpendicular kay line L at yung P natin ay nasa line L. So this is how we construct a perpendicular line, again, using a compass, but in this particular instruction, yung point P na inumpisahan natin ay nasa line L. So what we did to be able to produce this, this line is to use our compass. So step one, we constructed two points on line L that are equidistant from point P, and then we le level, um, label those points as A and B. So ito yung produce natin kanina using our compass. Uh, dahil dito, nakaproduce tayo ng point of intersection. So with the same width doon sa ginamit natin compass, ipopoint natin yung ating needle kay point A at kay point B para makapag produce tayo ng uh, curve, intersecting curves, that will help us connect point P at magkaroon tayo ng perpendicular line dito sa line L. And that's what we did. And from here, we're able to produce point C na nakatulong sa atin dahil if we connect point C and point P, makakabu tayo ng line CP na perpendicular kay line L. So yan yung ating construction dito sa 
first line natin na perpendicular doon sa line L natin. So, yan yung ating third construction. And for our last construction, what we're going to do now is to construct line L, point R on L, wherein RG is perpendicular to L. So, line L and point R are not on L. So, in this particular example, para mas maunawaan natin at makapagproduce tayo ng line segment RG na parallel kay L, meron tayong line L. And this time around, yung ating line L, kailangan natin ng point R, not on L. So, ito, let's say si point R at si point R, obviously, wala kay L. So, paano tayo makaproduce ng perpendicular line with L na gamit ng compass? Kasi kung gagamitin natin yung straight edge, Maybe this is perpendicular but we're not really sure unless we use a protractor to measure it. But since wala tayong protractor at meron tayong compass, that's what we're going to be using. And to be able to do that, all we need to do is to use our compass and gawin natin wider yung ating compass and make sure na lalampas siya doon sa ating lines. And from here, ipoint natin C. Needle kay R and draw a curve on L. So, ito yung unang curve at ito yung pangalawang curve. At nakapag-produce tayo ngayon ng point of intersection. At itong point of intersection na yan ay makakatulong sa atin to find a point na magko-connect dito. So, to be able to do that, ito si A at ito si B. So, gamitin lang natin itong compass ulit and put the needle doon sa intersection natin ng uh, curve, ng first curve, and draw a curve, another curve here at the bottom. Without moving our compass, makakabuo tayo ng point of intersection dito. At itong point of intersection natin dito, let's say this is point G. Kapag kinunek natin si point R at si point G, makakabuo tayo ng 90 degree angle right here. And now, we can say that line segment or line RG is perpendicular to line L where R is a point not on L. So, yan yung ating last construction of the day and we're able to produce a perpendicular line Kanina, yung ating point na pinag-umpisahan nandun sa line L. Ito naman, yung ating point ay wala na sa line L, line L but we're still able to produce that using our compass. Kaya, ang inyong number bender challenge for the day. So, nakagawa na tayo ng parallel lines or perpendicular lines without using a protractor and a ruler. Well, ginamit lang natin yung straight edge para makabuo tayo ng mga straight lines. Kaya ang number bender challenge for the day is to produce yung mga constructions na ginawa natin tulad nito, nito, at saka nito. So, yung mga parallel lines at mga trapezoids and perpendicular lines na produce natin, try to get your compass, your straight edge, your pencil, and see if you'll be able to recreate what we just did today. At yan, ang ating lesson on geometry. So, in geometry, hindi lang tayo natututo na maghanap ng mga missing parts ng ating mga polygons or mag-prove ng ating mga theorems gamit ang ating two-column proofs. Natututunan din natin gumamit ng mga tools na ginagamit sa construction to be able to produce parallel and perpendicular lines tulad na ginawa natin today. This is Dr. E and see you again next time. Bye!